Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on Keynote. Uh, we're going to be creating a Keynote presentation to be used uh, as the background video for your green screen uh, video for science. In this tutorial, we're just going to look at Keynote, how to add shapes, content like text, how to change and add transitions and animations, and lastly, how to export your video so you can use it as, an, uh, as a background in iMovie. Um, to begin with, uh, you can launch uh, Keynote on your MacBook through the launch, pa launch pad. Um, if you don't have a MacBook, I do recommend you access uh, Keynote through the browser. Uh, you can do this. Um, you can do this on your Chrome browser and go to iCloud.com/keynote, uh, and then you should be able to access the software on a Windows laptop. Uh, we're going to be looking at the MacBook version, which is the, des uh, the MacBook desktop application. Um, so it's got a slight difference in the way it looks to the browser version, but most of the features uh, will be present on the browser as well. So let's start off by selecting a presentation theme. It doesn't quite matter exactly which theme you start with. We're going to be editing this later. So I'm going to just start with the, um, the one I like here, which is bold color, and then click create on the bottom right hand side. <clears throat> Once you've got your title slide there, you can start to add content by clicking into the placeholders and then changing the content. So we're going to make one about DNA and genes, so let's put that in the title. Uh, let's put in a subtitle, oh, DNA uh, affects our genes. And let's put the author at the top there. So we've got a nice title slide, that's how to add text. Now if you're not happy with the text, uh, when you select the placeholders with the text, you'll get these formatting options on the right hand side. The first section is formatting the actual frame, uh, so you can fill that in, color the borders, etc. And the second tab there at the top is allowing you to, to set the fonts, styles, sizes, uh, alignment, etc. and then colors. So have a play with those in terms of formatting the text. Um, next, what we're going to do is just going to add in some shapes. Now, uh, Keynote comes with a fantastic range of shapes. So at the top here, you've got a menu for adding shapes. Click on that button there. And then you can see some basic shapes there, geometrical shapes as well. But you can also, the fantastic feature here, you can also create, uh, find shapes that you want to use that are specific to your presentation. So in this particular example, I'm just going to type in DNA. And as you can see there, I've got a nice little vector graphic for DNA. Uh, which I can insert on the home screen. And again, this is a vector graphic, so you can actually modify the style of it on the right hand tab called Style. So click the colors, etc., that you want to use. You might want to add a border in there. Uh, once you add a borders, you can then format the style of the border, etc. So choose this type of border that you want. Um, and then you can start to modify the colors to match your presentation, perhaps. Okay. So there we go, we've got one uh, small um, image added in there from the shapes tools um, and then you can con continue to add other images that you might have downloaded off the internet. You can do that through media uh, and going into choose and as you can see I might have some previous images that I've downloaded so I've saved them all in a little folder there um, which you can then insert very easily by clicking on insert. Okay, so that's a small introduction to adding content. Now let's say we added more uh, slides to this presentation. Uh, we simply do that by clicking add slide and then choosing the style that we want. Now a very clever transition tool that I want you to try and use is having a magic move transition. Now that requires a duplicate of our slide. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click the slides in the slide sorter window on the left and I'm going to click duplicate. Now all the contents copied across but we might not need all of it. So I'm just going to delete some of the content and I'm going to make a slight adjustment to the way this is positioned. So I'm going to modify the shape here. I'm holding command key to, to rotate it slightly and I'm holding shift to make sure that the angles are exactly 90 degrees. Okay, I'm going to shift my title to the top and I'm going to make this DNA strand a little bit bigger. Now I'm going back to the first slide and um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the slide itself and I'm going to the top um, options here on the top right hand side for animation. This will allow us to add a, a transition. 
This animates the slides, not the content. Okay, notice there is a difference between content and slides. We're going to animate the slide by adding an effect. And we're going to choose the one called Magic Move. You can preview this by clicking on the preview button or just click on the actual, uh, actual um, animation uh, style and then you'll see what happens. You get a little message here, first of all, just to say that it will um, use objects from, from the slides, um, from slide one to slide two. Okay, so let's have a look. A little preview there and you can see what's happening there. It's a nice little transition between the two slides, keeping the content um, and just modifying the animation so that it transitions between the two slides. So that's an example of a magic move transition. You can try other transitions. Uh, there are lots of examples of transitions in there uh, that you can add um, some quite fancy ones, some, some simple ones. So have a look through those transitions to transition between the slides. Let's say you added a content onto the slide. Let's add a new slide. Uh, let's say you added some content that you wanted to, to animate specifically on its own. So if I just add a blank slide in here um, and add, um, let's say we added a shape of a, a man. Um, we wanted to animate that within the slide itself. Um, what we can do is, by resizing that, what we can do is we can add, and by selecting that, we can add an animation. Uh, which is an which is different to a transition because it's just specifically for this one particular object and we do that by clicking on animate at the top and we've got a build in effect and then add effect and again there's lots of different fancy and, and plain animations um, we can have um, him flying in let's preview that okay uh, we can have uh, our man and that's going to special effects here um, we can have him shimmer created with a shimmer um, we can have him bouncing across the screen okay quite like that one so I'm going to select that one and then once you've selected your animation you get to choose the timing of it and which direction it's coming from um, and the order in which it takes place okay so there we have it we've got a we've got a, a, a simple uh, um, set of slides there that I now want to use in the background of my video so the last thing I'm going to show you is how to export this um, and this is a very important step to include into iMovie so the, the steps include going to file and export and then you can see lots of options there to export the video and lots of different formats we're just going to click movie and then we're just going to make sure the settings are set so that it's self-playing um, and then it includes all the slides. You can change the timings of the slides, and then you can also change the resolution to make it higher resolution or lower resolution. I feel like 720 is sufficient for our movie. So I'm going to click Next, and it's going to ask me where do I want to save it. Um, select a suitable location, change the name of the file, and then click Export. And wait till the export process is finished before checking out your video. And there you have it, a simple tutorial on how to use Keynote to create a background for your green screen video. In our next tutorial, we're going to look at iMovie and how to use this Keynote uh, animation within iMovie and our green screen video recordings to create our final edit. Thank you.